Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case of 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball 8 box jumbo. Pick your team 6 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All cards ship. There's the case right there and here are the people that got into it. Thanks everybody for putting in the work here on a Sunday. And thanks everybody uh, for spending a bit of your Sunday with me. I appreciate that. Taylor with Last Wild Mojo with the Blue Jays. Thanks to him, thanks to everybody. Let's get this break on the road. Looking for three autos per box on average. I feel like we've seen, no, it's mostly been three, right? Maybe I'm thinking of Breakers of Light where we sometimes see an extra auto. I don't know, who knows? We might get a little surprised. And we got Jumbo 7 coming up right after this, so check the break schedule for the timing. Folks, we are running out of Chase the Mantle entries. So go to the break schedule, click the, uh, click the Chase the Mantle tab and scroll down, you'll see what breaks are remaining. Beej, what's up? You have the Orioles, you live close by. Yes, you can. Um, if you go to the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, click the support button, give us your name, your information, your order number, all that stuff, and let us know that you want to be uh, on the local pickup list. Go. Good luck, everybody. Pete Alonzo, Casas, Goldschmidt, those hypers are not numbered. There's a Jackson Holiday. Got an all etch Jose Ramirez. And we got a Spencer Horwitz, rookie auto for the Bluebirds. It's going to be for Taylor, last spot mojo. Seventy percent of the time, last spot mojo hits all the time. So Mike Trout, Mackenzie Gore. Got Greg Kessinger to 299, purple speckle um, for the Astros. That's going to be going to Andrew. Got Caminero, got Kirkstad. A lot of great rookie cards here in this year's set as well. Otani, and then we got Drew Milas, rookie autograph for the Nats, Robert with the Nationals. And once again, I will do an autograph recap at the end of the break if you're re-watching re this break. Um, you, know, you can fast forward to the end. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me. Stuck with me for these boxes here. I 
I got the check credit of the card. There's no annual fee, no interest, and no credit check. My score's gone up. Check it out at check.com. And we got Owen White, rookie auto for the Rangers, to 499. 152 out of 499. Going to Josh Yost and Texas. And we got some gold back here. Four out of 50. Key Brian Hayes. Nice. It will be for Coppola and the Pirates. All right. Nice start. Next box. Hey, no worries, Coppola. Thanks for getting in. First of many, I hope. Let's switch over to Watch the F1. I can switch over to Red Sox Dodgers. These just got underway. Red Sox already up 2 nothing. How did that happen? It's just the first inning. It's, uh, man, Jaron Duran's just been killing the Dodgers. Yeah, two run shot. I think he's had. I think he's eaten ribs in every single Dodgers Red Sox game. Breaking news Jaron Duran is pretty good. We'll go through the scoreboard and they will whip around the league in the uh, next box. The past couple uh, Dodgers Red Sox games have been pretty exciting, at least for Dodgers fans. Freddie Freeman had a uh, grand slam, a go ahead grand slam to win the first game. Yesterday's game went to extra innings. Dodgers ended up winning there. On some, uh, here's Chris Valamont for PJ and the Orioles. Little heroics from Kiki Hernandez. And we'll see what happens in the uh, in this game here. Jackson Churio for uh, the Brewers, Michael Roberts. And the last time the, yeah, the last time the Sox were in LA was back in 2016. Uh, regular season. There's Gray Kessinger again, 11 out of 75, Blue Wave. Uh, Blue Wave four. The Astros, and there's a Jason Dominguez for Douglas and the Yankees. I haven't seen any Aaron Judges yet. Remember, these are uh, this is Topps Chrome Baseball is part of the MVP buyback program. So all cards will ship, but I think currently your favorites are going to be um, are going to be uh, Aaron Judge in the AL and Shohei Otani in the. And here's Wyatt Langford for Texas. That'll be for Josh. And I suppose there could be some uh, some outside chances at some some other guys. We'll maybe took at some of the uh, some of the MVP odds. 
in one of the future boxes here while I'm ripping those. There's Jordan Lawler, 140 out of 250. Jason with the snakes. We got a trade deadline coming up. Does this guy get traded? Vlad Guerrero Jr. Maybe. A lot of trade possibilities here. Here's Key Brian Hayes to 199. Another one. Aqua Lava for Coppola and the Pirates. Yeah, I guess with the more balanced schedule, we're probably going to see teams like the Red Sox arrive in Los Angeles more often. I don't think that's part of the buyback, these inserts. But that's what we're looking for, though. Just the regular, his regular base cards, plus variations, numbers, etc. And then depending on the numbers or the parallel, I think you can get larger amounts of store credit or something like that. Participating hobby shops. We are a participating hobby shop. Here's Samad Taylor, Kansas City Royals, rookie auto for Eric M with KC. Behind Noel V. Marte, Jordan Lawler, 43 out of 250 for the Diamondbacks. That's for Jason. And the Snakes, the Ali Dela Cruz, this one and all of them will go to Adam. And the Reds, special player there. All right, another box in the books. Grizzleby says Vlad doesn't, I think. I mean, a lot of people linking him to like Seattle could use that hitting. Blue Jays could, could retool. Rays might give up some, uh, you know, Rays might give up some players. I would love to try to pry Arozarena away from from the uh, from the Rays and maybe a starting pitcher could use that for the Dodgers. But there's been inquiries on Garrett Crochet. Tariq Skubal. All right, next box. But yeah, lots of pitchers needed everywhere, though. I know, I know the Orioles are inquiring about, you know, guys like Garrett Crochet, Tariq Skubal. I feel like those, like guys like Tariq Skubal, I feel like, you know, that would have to be a huge, a huge haul. Tigers would be asking for a lot. They're, they're, I mean, he's controllable for multiple years, having a Cy Young caliber season, and I don't think their Tigers are just going to give him up just to give him up. Uh, Mariners beat the Astros six to four. Astros wasting a Jordan Alvarez cycle, which I think is a little bit more rare than like a no hitter. But um, Mariners are a game are now a game ahead of the Astros. It's going to be a dogfight for the AL West, I think. Especially if the Mariners add some hitting. Uh, Angels beat the A's 8-5. to five. Giants beat the Rockies 3-2. to two. Jorge Soler had a 478-foot homer, which is the longest of the season. Rangers beat the O's 3-2. to two. Jonah Heim had a three-run homer. Cubs beat the Dimebacks next, just 2-1. Royals beat the White Sox 4-1. And then we'll continue on with the scoreboard in the next box. <laughs> nice Shohei Otani refractor. Joseph with that one. Nice. 
Wyatt Langford Hyper going to Josh and the Rangers and the Summertime in the Park insert Jackson Holiday will go to PJ. And there's Hunter Goodman, 20, uh, 253 out of 299. Purple speckle autograph for the Rockies. He's got, he's got some, uh, some lightning in that bat. He can hit for power a little bit. Jared with the Rockies. More Shohei Otani. That Pete Crow Armstrong looks like a variation, right? That's going to be for EA and the Cubs. There's an L.A. De La Cruz. Adam with the Reds. Ooh, Freddie Freeman just hit one out. Nice. There's Brian Wu. For the Mariners, that'll be for Nathaniel. Jackson Merrill for the Padres, that's for Joseph. Here's a Taj Bradley. Gold Wave, 45 out of 50. Rays, Jim with the Rays. Here's a player that could also possibly be traded. Rays might be sellers. Here's a Jung Hoo Lee for the Giants. That's going to be for Addison. Mason Wynn, all of these Mason Wins will go to Jeff Walker and the Cardinals. And here is Mason McCoy, rookie auto for the Friars. Speed for Joseph. It's a double. There's our Aaron Judge. Not a refractor, but just a base Aaron Judge going to the Yankees. Douglas, part of the MVP buyback program. He's, probably, he's your current favorite for your AL MVP. We checked those odds a few days ago. I don't doubt much has changed. Here's a base Otani. Luis Matos, 33 out of 99. Green wave for the Giants. That'll be for Addison. There's a Justin Steele. I'm fairly certain that this is a, because I feel like I saw another peak for Armstrong and that picture wasn't like that. I'm pretty sure it's a variation. That'll go to the Cubs, EA and the Cubs. Padres beat the Guardians. Kyle Higashioka drives in a couple runs in the win. There was a no-hitter through like six or seven innings for Michael King, I think. That was a nice performance. Ultimately, the Guardians were two hit. 
Marlins beat the Mets 4-2. Jazz Chisholm had a three-run homer. Blue Jays beat the Tigers 5-4. Yeah, Randy Arzarena heating up with a homer today. Rays beat the uh, Yankees 6-4. Wilson Contreras had a homer. Cardinals beat the Braves 6-2. Nick Castellanos crushes a homer to seal Philly's win. Philly shot at the Pirates six nothing. I've been hearing this story recently, new to me, I think, that Nick Castellanos apparently hits homers when there's like significant historical events that happen. Has anyone heard of this? I think. Uh, I think when Bin Laden, I mean, there's like a number of examples, but I think when Bin Laden was killed, like he had hit a homer that day, et cetera, et cetera. Today, obviously, uh, Joe Biden dropping out of, the, uh, out of the race, kind of big news. I don't know if that's ever happened in American history. Nick Castellanos hits a homer. I feel like there's a bunch of other examples. Is it coincidence or correlation? <laughs> it's coincidence, but... It's a fun coincidence. Here's a Heston Kirkstad. Will the Orioles shed some of the, some of their their hitters? They could use some pitching. They can't promote everybody. They've been trying to this year. They can't promote everyone. Here's Luis Matos, 52 out of 199. Aqua Wave. Addison with the Giants. Does Luis Robert get traded? It's a possibility. Shoto Imanaga going to the Cubs for EA. He had a nice outing today. I think Julio Rodriguez is heating up a little bit. Here's Dominic Canzone, 74 out of 299 for Seattle. Nathaniel. Ligero Jr. and behind him, Dane Myers. Marlins have got to be sellers, right? They got some pieces they can move. Dane Myers, rookie auto going to Robert and the Fish. It's Jackson Holiday. Kirkstad, a Caminero. Might see Junior Caminero get called up in a couple weeks or so. I feel like maybe when all the dust settles from the uh, trade deadline, maybe if they if they move some guys, open up some space, they may call that guy up. Who's been raking in the minors when healthy? Have to see this guy as a Dodger. And there's Christian Encarnacion Strand, 79 out of 499. Nice refractor auto for the Reds. That's for Adam Kelly. I think he's been having a nice season, or was. Some injuries have gotten in the way. Ryan McMahon's having a solid year. There's Yoshinobu coming back from a uh, shoulder. Sort of inflammation, I want to say. That's going to go to Joseph and the Dodgers. And there's Grayson Rodriguez for PJ and the Orioles. 
76 out of 99. I don't know what the official tops name for this. Pulsar, maybe? All right, so we're halfway through this uh, eight box case. About another 20, 25 minutes to go. James Wood, three-run shot for the Nationals. Big James Wood putting the wood on the baseball. Nationals beat the Reds 5-2. to two. Reese Hoskins, two-run shot, put the Brewers ahead. They beat the Twins 8-7. And after James Paxson gave up an early two-run homer to... Uh, to Jaron Duran, a Freeman homer and a Gavin Lux double has tied up the game 2-2, but Paxton just put a runner on. This could be, everyone had, everyone had the over on this game, right? And it's a sort of an earlier start. It's a four o'clock start here on the West Coast. So it is a little warmer today and the ball does, does, does tend to jump a little bit. Before the sun sets. Yeah, Jason Hayward's back. Jason Hayward off the IL Dodgers are kind of getting healthy. They had like a lot, 10, 15 players on the IL. So I think they got Joe Kelly back. That's going to help the bullpen. They got Jason Hayward back. was excellent defensively, could provide some pop, pushes uh, Teoscar Hernandez over to left field. That's a stolen base. Uh, I think Tyler Glass now, as well as Clayton Kershaw, were activated off the IL too for the Dodgers. So they're, they're getting a little bit of, there's Freddie right there, they're, they're getting a little bit of help back especially in the rotation. Kershaw might make his first start of the year sometime this week. Here's Tyler Cropley. Eric with the Royals. Man, so third too? Uh, Blue Wave, Jordan Wicks, 15 out of 75 for EA and the Cubs. And there's Matt, I'm not a crook, 22 out of 150. That will be for the Yankees, Douglas. 22 out of 150, true blue. Like both of these guys have, Will Your Abreu, Jackson Churio, Red Sox, Coppola, Churio, Brewers, Michael. Spencer Horowitz, 19 out of 250 for the Blue Jays. That's for Taylor. And there's a Red Sox autograph, David Hamilton, 141 out of 250. I'm 
pretty sure he's the guy that just stole two bases. All right, yeah, David Hamilton. This guy stole, stole second, stole third. 141 out of 250. That's Capola with the Red Sox. And he had 70 stolen bases in Portland in 2022. That's right, Grizzly. just stole two bags. Speedy Speedster. Got a Sean Murphy, 307 out of 350. Magenta Speckle for the Braves. It's going to go to Kyle. Josh will go to, uh, or this Wyatt will go to Josh and the Rangers. Yeah, you're uh, in the AL. Little has changed since the last time we looked at this, but uh, the according to sportsbettingdown.com, I think you could find a, a minus 310 for Aaron Judge to win AL MVP. He's the overwhelming favorite. Next closest would be would be Gunnar Henderson at plus 350. Then it jumps up to. Uh, to Bobby Witt Jr. plus 1,200. This is break six. If you uh, check the, uh, this is not just for, for Nguyen, but for everybody, um, pinned in the chat is the break schedule. And if you click that, that'll take you to the schedule so you know uh, exactly what we're doing. Pro tip, the, the shipping tab is also there so you know the status of your order. And we also, we're also keeping track of the Mantle Chase entries. If you, uh, if you want an entry and you don't see your name on there, definitely let us know. Send us, uh, send us the, uh, the break where your name's in and we will uh, we'll double check that. If you have won an entry, I would highly encourage you to uh, to just kind of reread all the terms and conditions on the uh, on the website. There's Evan Carter. It's going to go to Josh and the Rangers. The Jacob Amaya, 85 out of 150. Might, might be a lot of movement at the trading deadline for the fish. Robert Davis. There's a Jason Dominguez hyper parallel. Nice, good luck. And that's going to come up right after this, obviously. That's on the schedule. Ryan Noda to 150. Jung Hoo Lee, refractor. That's going to be for Addison and the Giants. Kind of a bummer for, for him. Got a shoulder injury. Cut his season short. Ryan Nod will go to Adam Kelly and the A's. Adam and the A's. There's Sawyer Gibson Long. 
Rookie auto for Detroit, Jeff Sanders with the Tigers. And there's your relic, Austin Riley. One out of 50. Piece of the jersey. I love, all, I love that they give you the hologram sticker as well. If you go to uh, MLB.com slash authentication, you can look up those set of letters and numbers and see exactly where that jersey came from. And, and then you can look up the game log and see what, if anything, Austin Riley did that day. Maybe have a little extra story with the relic. Ozzy Albee's now out for eight weeks. I saw that he got injured. I didn't realize eight weeks. It's Lane Thomas to 199. It is nearly the rest of the season. All right, we've got like half of July. That's the rest of August. And maybe a couple weeks into September. Rough season for a lot of injuries for the Braves, too. Acuna Jr., Albies now, twice. I think he was on, a, on the aisle for an extended period, longer than the minimum earlier in the year. There's Kyle Leahy for the Redbirds. That's going to go to Jeff Walker and the Cardinals. Speaking of injuries, John Carlos Stan's supposed to come back maybe next week. Uh, that, that'd be a boost. Certainly a nice boost for the uh, Yankees who've been struggling a little bit. There's Jason Dominguez. Forrest Wall for the Braves, 55 out of 350. Yeah, Ker I was just mentioning that a little bit earlier in the break. Kershaw's back from the IL. Joe Kelly's back from the IL. Tyler Glass now. Jason Hayward reinstated from the IL. So Dodgers getting some getting some numbers back, which is which is nice. How many more seasons do you think? I have no idea. I mean. I want to say, if I remember correctly, Roger Clemens, the last, you know, handful of, wait, three, four years of his career, I feel like whoever he was with, I feel like they didn't, they didn't get him going until the middle of the season. Um, so... I think physically, if they put Kershaw on that kind of plan, this year was because of injury, but if even when he's healthy, if they don't bring him on until the middle of the season or something like that, you know, then I think he could he could stretch out his career another, you know, if he avoids another major injury, probably another what? How old is he now? Thirty-six, yeah, you might grind out, grind it out until age forty season or something like that. But then, but then there's the question of you know, does he mentally want to go through that grind? That I don't know. Do you think he retires with the does, That I don't know either. I don't have a re I don't have a sense on that. I would guess that. I think he signed a two-year deal with the Dodgers recently. Yeah, he signed a two-year deal. If he wins like a World Series in the next two years, right, this year or next, I've got a feeling that he may just call it. All right, you may just just quit on top, you know. 
he may just say, I had a great run, had a great career, got another ring, you know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna retire. Ja nice Jackson Trio going to Michael in Milwaukee. Or maybe he does like a year in, in Texas or something like that. There's an Austin Wells, rookie auto for the Yankees. That's going to be for Douglas. Absolutely, Rex, yeah. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. 90 plus percent of the vote. Maybe 95 plus percent of the vote, pretty easily, I think. Another base, Aaron Judge. Let's see if we can find some parallels of him, Douglas. Here's a Andre Andre Lipsius to 299 purple speckle. That's going to go to uh, Jeff Sanders and Detroit. Here's a base Otani. Here's a Orion Kirk Herring, 316 out of 490. Oh, what a name. Orion. Like the, uh, like the Constellation? 316 out of 499. Maybe there'll be some Orion's belt jokes in there somewhere. Joseph with the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Ellie De La Cruz. They gave him an error? Come on, Dodger Stadium scorer. Here's another Shota base for EA and the Cubs. That inning with uh, Sedan was actually kind of short. We didn't really get to hear much from him, but there he is. That's going to go to Coppola and the Red Sox. Having a really nice season. Jordan Adams to 350 will be for for Eric and the uh, and the Angels. Is that PCW the best car in this case? Maybe. I'm not sure what the market is on him. Here's an Andrew Abbott rookie auto. It's going to be for Adam and the Reds. There's a Mason Wynn. And the uh, Yoandres Gomez, 63 out of 250. It's for Douglas and the Yankees. Mason Wynn will go to uh, Jeff Walker and the Cardinals. <laughs> All right, last box. Yeah, I mean, I wish every single case had like a one of one Ellie Dela Cruz, but you know, they're not always going to be 
gangbuster cases. It's just the it's just the name of the game. Let's go. Let's try to finish strong here. There's a Strokes, Ellie Della Cruz. There's a Sedan Rafella. Jackson Merrill for the Padres. That's going to go to Joseph. And here's a Jose Tena. 18 out of 50 gold. True gold auto going to Cassandra and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. What's the best card we've pulled ever in a break? I mean, we've had, we've pulled a, Jason pulled a Connor McDavid RPA that sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Back in the day, I think Teddy pulled a John Morant RPA out of Immaculate, Logo Man RPA out of Immaculate that sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars. I pulled a uh, LeBron James Logo Man. I pulled a 50 auto book, one of one from Luminaries. So yeah, those are some of the those are some of the highlights. Anyone anyone remember any others? Those are those are some of the big ones. Here's a Yoshinobu Yamamoto hyper parallel. Nice one for the Dodgers, Joseph. Another Mason win for the Cardinals and poor Ozzy Alves. Broken wrist will be out for two months at least going to be for uh, Kyle and the Bravos. Another base Aaron Judge and a Alexander Canario. EA with the Cubs. Here's an Otani. Here's a Mike Trout. This must be something special. What are these called? I feel like I've not seen that insert. That must be a short print. Let's see, to the checklist. Helix, Bub is saying. Yeah, are, how short printed are these? Do we have odds on that? Uh, according to Beckett, odds and parallels not yet known. But I feel like I've ripped a decent amount of this Topps Chrome baseball over the last few days or a few nights that have been on live. It's the first one I'm seeing, I think. Uh, so that goes to Ed and the Angels. Nice. Tiny to the Dodgers, Aaron Judge for the Yankees, Evan Carter for Texas. Nice gentry. Yeah, he's he's been he's been feasting on the ribs against my Dodgers. Just feasting, just having a a rib field <laughs> filled weekend for him. There's Nola Shanuel, 37 at 99, Green Wave. Another one for Ed and the Angels. Ellie Dela Cruz in that 1989 design. Another Shota. And we got a Anthony Veneziano. 
purple speckle autograph for the Royals. That's gonna go to gonna go to Eric. Oh, Bub has some odds. He's saying, according to him, it's one out of 1,601 boxes on that Helix. Nice. Very strong card there. It's gone. Teoscar, nice. There's a Mason Wynn, a Max Scherzer. To one. Are, the, are the Rangers going to be sellers at the deadline? Like there's been some rumblings about that. The Rangers might be sellers and they may just to kind of refresh that team. <laughs> All right, quick little recap here. <laughs> Got that nice Austin Riley relic, some color here. There's the variation, Pete Crow Armstrong, Otani Refractor, and of course, the Trout. Hopefully he can put together a few healthy seasons in the near future. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was a Jumbo Pick Your Team 6. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.